of course, you can hear the turbo. What's going on guys, Big Mike, D717, all back with you here today. We're out cruising in the LML, and I wanted to bring this quick little video to you guys to explain a crucial piece of braking equipment for a diesel pickup, and that happens to be an exhaust brake. So a few things you need to know on an exhaust brake is it's an auxiliary braking system that uses a butterfly valve in the exhaust to modulate back pressure on the turbo. And now what that's gonna do is use the turbo as a braking, as a means of braking, almost like engine braking a little bit. But honestly, I've tested the exhaust brake on this truck a few times and it works phenomenal compared to engine braking. Engine braking, if you don't know, is basically when the motor uses itself uh, in gearing to switch gears, go into a lower gear and use the transmission and the engine to slow itself down. An exhaust brake is an auxiliary method to that that typically works with your tow haul mode and just gives you a lot better braking, especially when dealing with um, very long grades, steep grades. It helps you maintain speed without burning up your brake pads, which if you're carrying a heavy load in diesel is a very good thing to have. You don't want to fry your brakes and then you have no other means to stop. Typically, especially because I've gone through to get my CDL, is what you want to use your exhaust brake for is your main brake, to be honest. If you're on a steep grade, you want to use that as your main brake and use your actual brakes as a last stitch effort to slow your vehicle down. Because too much friction on your brakes over time will cause severe brake fade, it'll cause your pads to melt, it'll cause your rotors to heat up a little bit too much, and it's just very bad because if your brakes go out, you have no other way to stop. So using an exhaust brake or engine braking will really take some of the stress off of your brakes themselves. So all right guys, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys in an LML how to turn on your exhaust brake and then we're going to do a couple tests on a long grade to show you how well it actually slows down. All right guys now this is just for the LMLs and most Duramaxes usually this is how they go. So we're going to put the truck in tow haul mode which on these is the button on the end of your gear select. Go ahead and hit the button you'll see a little trailer will pop up on your dash so we're going to go ahead and do a quick test on the engine braking and show you how well that works going downhill. We are kind of up on the mountain. We're going to go ahead and test this. And then once we get about halfway down, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the exhaust brake, which that is another button here next to your traction control. Hit that button and the truck says exhaust brake enabled. Hit it again, disabled. But Let's go ahead and test this. Going down a decent grade. First off, tow haul mode changed our shift points. But, so you can see, it's holding a gear and using the engine to slow itself down. Not relatively fast, but it is using the gearing to maintain speed. So, engine braking is working. Here, let's see if it picks up a little bit. She's actually maintaining a pretty good speed. So you can see that's working. So let's go ahead and we'll put the exhaust brake on. And look at how much quicker it's starting to slow down. And of course, you can hear the turbo putting in a little bit of extra work for the duty cycle for that. But we'll go ahead and pick up a little bit more speed. Just watch the speed and the tack. See, exhaust brake's working how it should. Using that butterfly valve to slow the truck down on a grade. This isn't a very steep grade, as you can tell, but you can see that it's slowing it down with no issues whatsoever. can see the exhaust brakes work very well uh, engine braking works just as good it's easy to maintain a higher speed but if you're really trying to slow the vehicle down uh, the exhaust brake does the trick I mean completely let your foot off the throttle and it'll engage and the second you do that you'll start to notice that it almost feels like you're on the brakes it'll make you kind of sit up in your seat a little bit or at least it'll feel like you're pushing against your seatbelt. And that's typically what it's supposed to do. It's helping to use 
uh, the turbo, it's using the motor, it's using the transmission, everything that it can uh, to slow the vehicle down without burning up your brakes, which is the big thing. Like I said, exhaust brakes and engine brakes are technically your first route to slowing down on a long grade. And then if you need to, if it's picking up too much speed and the exhaust brake and engine brake aren't doing the trick, then you use your brakes. But typically an exhaust brake is gonna do the trick, especially like you just saw. We were coasting at about 40 miles an hour and it didn't take long for it to drop into the 20s just by hitting the exhaust brake. And yeah, the exhaust brakes definitely work. Great option to have in a diesel. I know most diesels nowadays, like newer ones from I think 2012 and up, could have been earlier than that, come factory with an exhaust brake. If you can't, if your vehicle doesn't come factory with one, there's a lot of companies that make them. Try and do your research and your reviews and see which ones are a little bit more maintenance free, see which ones perform better than others. But do your research and exhaust brake is a good feature to have in a diesel pickup, especially if you're towing. All right guys, as always, hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to drop any comments if you wanna know anything more about my LML, or if you just have any questions on an exhaust brake. All right guys, don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Remember, drive safe, drive smart, I forgot my seatbelt for this video, but always wear your seatbelt. I'll catch you guys on the next upload. See ya.